How's it going, everybody? Today we're checking out Ender Innocence Lost. Yeah, so from what I saw on Instagram, these guys are a deathcore band now in New Jersey. Um, they'd hit me up on Instagram, you know, send me a message like, hey, you want to check out my new music, you know, that whole jazz. You know, it's something I get fairly often, not as much as other creators, obviously. You know, I'm not huge, but um, I do get messages every now and then. But, um, I mean, the band name was the first thing that caught my eyes. Like, Ender. Oh, I'm going to be making Minecraft puns this entire time because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, like, I don't know. It just, they were really nice when they approached me. And um, I like the name, Ender. You know, it just kind of rolls off the tongue. Plus, uh, I believe I've seen, like, Orion. I believe, like, Metal Burb and a few other reactors have actually checked these guys out. So I was like, okay, if they're checking them out, they got to be releasing some heat. Because that that's just how it works. You know I mean? You got, like, that food chain. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, yeah, before I start this, if you see me, like, rub my eyes and stuff, I, I swear to God I'm not, like, about to fall asleep. It's just my seasonal allergies have been going crazy this time of year, and it won't stop. So, uh, yeah, sick, but l let's get right into it. Oh. So crunchy. Tell me what you say as the embers raise. Give me a little bit like the Acacia Strain vibes. Just the production and everything. It's pissed off. Maybe a little bit of Darko as well. So much guitar action. <laughs> Is this ending already? What the hell? A little like pre chorus kind of thing. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, so I definitely have some thoughts about this track. So first off, I want to say this is definitely a really pissed off and hard hitting song. Like this is very heavy and uh, that's pretty sick. You know, I'll just say it like right away. Um, but yeah, getting into like some of the little more nitpicky things. Uh, so the vocals I thought were pretty solid. I, I do like the screams. The screams fit very well. There's definitely a lot of emotion in there too. You know, it wasn't just pure anger. Like it, it felt like there's a little bit of hurt in there. You know, it felt like he's hurting a bit. And um, feeling those emotions in a song like this, this, this heavy, I think is very important. Um, and also, also like the pre-chorus, like the clean pre-chorus, I thought that was a nice touch. Um, I do think it kind of helps break up the song a little bit. Uh, but I'll get more into some of the other things in just a moment. Um, the guitars, the guitars were really sick. They sound awesome. They got just such a crunchy tone, such like high gain and just nasty. Um, that's where I got more like the Acacia Strain vibes, I suppose is like that um i talked about the production as well which i'll also talk about a little bit more in just a moment but the guitars um were pretty good uh, i like all the different noises and stuff they're making it's definitely more in that like hardcore vein i would say as far as that goes but uh that also gets into one of the things i kind of have an issue with the song i say kind of because it's not like the end of the world or anything you know everybody has their preferences um, I, I do feel like this song in general was a little bit monotone. Like it, it kind of monotone as in, I feel like it was kind of holding the same energy level for a lot of the song and it just didn't pull me. But also this song isn't necessarily written in a way where it like ebbs and flows. It's very much just hitting you in the face over and over again. So I think it kind of comes down to like your stylistic preference. Um, so I think maybe if I go and listen to this a few more times, maybe in different environments, especially like when I'm at work and I have a reason to be pissed off, um, it might actually hit a lot harder. You know, totally possible. Uh, it's one of those things where, you know, some bands I kind of find to be situational, at least for my listening tastes. So I think this may kind of fall into that. So, you know, take some of the things I say with a grain of salt, obviously. Well, always take everything I say with a grain of salt because opinions change all the time. Uh, that's the fun part about music. But yeah, uh, the guitars are really sick. I do think, um, like I said, I mean, it just was really pissed off, but it does follow kind of just like one riff for a lot of the songs. So I guess that'd kind of be a con for me, but the riff that they got is pretty good. So you know what? Keep doing you. <laughs> yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, and as for like the production, the production, even though it was kind of like, you know, compressed and really just you know tightly wound um i do think it kind of works for the style i mean that's just kind of how it goes like it kind of just goes hand in hand you got the heavy chuggy riffs you got some really compressed production that keeps it kind of contained but it's like about to explode into a million pieces that's at least how it feels for me when i'm listening to it um yeah i i guess it kind of works it's just not always my thing i don't think you know it's just down to personal preference, like I said. But, yeah, I don't know really what else to say about the track. I thought, like I said, it was pretty solid. It was heavy hitting. Um, I'm telling you, if you like stuff like the Acacia Strain or you know, anything kind of leaning more into the hardcore side but also has that deathcore edge still, um, or like Spy, things like that, I actually feel like you're really, really going to like this. But, uh, yeah, what would you guys think about this track? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. If you have your recommendations, leave it down below as well. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, you guys take it easy.